Ninth grade geometry, Pythagorean theorem. I understand that we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to put a squared plus parentheses x minus 4 squared, and then that's equal to c squared. But what do I do when I square the x minus 4? Because I got 64 minus x squared plus 16 equals c squared. What do I do from here? All right, Pythagorean theorem, right? Remember to label this the hypotenuse, which is the longest die, that has to be C. And for the other side, you can label this as A, and you can label this as B. And the Pythagorean theorem says we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And now just throwing everything. So B is this, right? A is this, so put on 8, put on the 8 right here, so we have 8 squared plus b is x minus 4, so parentheses x minus 4, and then square that, and that is equal to c squared. c is equal to x, so we have to have x right here. So notice, now we have an equation with just x. So earlier you have that c is incorrect, because you forgot to replace the c with x. Now we have to work this out, and earlier you put down x squared plus 16, this right here is also not correct, right? also not correct. Because when we have this situation, let me just make it super clear for you. x minus 4 squared, you write it down twice on the side, like this. And then you are going to multiply it out, foil it out. So we get x times x, which is x squared, and then x times negative 4, that's negative 4x. And we're done with that, you continue by multiplying negative 4 with x, that's another negative 4x. Combining them, we get negative 8x. This is the part that we have to have. And then finally, negative 4 times negative 4, we have the plus 16. So you were missing that part right here. Okay, let me just finish this. First we have 8 squared, which is 8 times 8. That is 64. And then we add. This thing squared is just all that. So we have x squared minus 8x plus 16. And lastly, this right here is equal to x squared. Okay? And then we can just solve for the, for the x. But notice that though, we can first subtract x squared on both sides, and then they just cancel. Well, pretty nice. And then right here on the left hand side, notice that we have 64 plus 16. They are on the same side, so we can just combine them. And together, that will be 80. And then bring down the minus 8x, and that is equal to 0. So from here, that's minus 80 on both sides. So they cancel. And then we get negative 8x equal, we have 0 minus 80, so that's negative 80. And then finally, just divide both sides by negative 8, because this is negative 8 times x, so divided by negative 8 right here, so that we can cancel this and that, and do the same thing on the other side. So finally, x is equal to 10, yes, x is equal to 10. Negative 80 divided by negative 8 is 10. So, let me just show you though, when x is equal to 10, this right here is 10, and then this right here is 10 minus 4, which is 6, right? and then this is equal to 8. Well, we know that we have a special triangle, the 3, 4, 5, Pythagorean triple, 3, 4, 5, right? You just multiply all the sides by 2. So 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10. Of course, this picture is non draw to scale because I ran out of space. So maybe, let me just erase that right here. Alright, so that triangle works, and hopefully this right here helps. If you have any other questions, uh, you can leave a comment down below and let me know. That's it.